What's going on, little Wapa? You finally living in your truths. You like diggling and coochie too. So tonight, you coming out the closet. What's going on, little Wapa? I remember when Gucci signed you. You dropped off the label, you disappeared. So tonight, you coming out the closet. How you ever had fetish for a pussy and mushroom tip, Lil Wap had? <laughs> now Lil Wap, I don't know if you're doing this for clout or you living in your truth. It really don't even matter because one thing I gotta respect that you is saying it. So you letting all the women know, you letting all the men know that you like that, that you go both ways. That's your thing. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Depends on who you ask, what God you ask. But it don't matter. It's about what you want. And that's what you want. You want to, yeah, salt and pepper. Yeah, you want both of them. You got half blonde, half black. So I guess the blind side, you know, that's the more spicy side. You go both ways. The black side, that's still the gangster side. You know what I'm saying? That's still the straight. All the females, so all the females kiss on this side, and all the males or the she-males, they kiss on this side. I understand. That's kind of different. You know what I'm saying? I give you that. So what you need to do, if I'm your agent, if I'm your agent, what you need to do, since you're coming out like this with your chest out, you need to go ahead and go back in that booth, start making them type of songs, you know, get your buzz back up, get your money up. For an example, you can call your first mixtape Lil Nasty Thug. Yeah, Lil Wap, Lil Nasty Thug, Volume 1. And just go hard. Get a DJ to host it. Get your feature too. Build that fan base over there. And just keep working from that. That's just an example. And then you need to go to the acting classes. Yeah, because you want to get in roles. You want to get in movies. Because that look... That half thug, half this way, half that look. I'm just saying, I ain't saying that you like that or you ain't. I'm just saying that look, that's what's finna be more coming in a new generation. A lot of thugs or niggas that look like thugs that, you know, they come out as bi, right? So you need to take advantage. If you're going to be one of the first ones, you need to take advantage. You need to go get your acting classes together. That might run you six figures, 50000 So that's why I said, build your buzz up. Network with other people who think like you. That dude, they be hanging with uh, Young Miami, him, David, people like that. Anybody. Nas, X, anybody. Network. Network. Start going to their parties. Network. Get your acting skills up. Call Boosie. Tell your agent or you call Boosie. Be like, hey, when you're doing your movies or you coming up with ideas and you brainstorming and you got a part for me that fit my character, you know, they go both ways. I do that. Duh. Of course, I'm going to audition and earn my spot, but, you know, I'm willing to take the part. You got the tattoos, you know, you got the gold teeth or whatever. And yeah, that's what you got to do. And yeah, you already came out, so ain't no shame. You need to build your buzz up, network. The artists, the straight artists that will work with you, you do that there. If that don't work, you go and get your acting skills up. That's what you do and wait on the road or do your own movies. And then for now, you also can be ghostwriting. Yeah, I don't know if you're good at making hits or club anthems. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to be doing. Ghostwriting, writing verses, writing hooks, whatever you're good at. And putting other rappers on game that'll take your hooks and verses. Learn how to make beats. There's a lot of different ways you can make money. Learn how to engineer. Why are you waiting to take off in the rap game or you waiting for a role? In the meantime, you can be building up your IG, building up your fan base. Yeah, doing skits like Funny Mike, like Country Wayne. Just do it in your way. Yeah, that's how you got to build your audience. So the promoters, they're going to start calling your phone. Once you build that different audience and you got the music, of course, the promoter's going to call you. It's just different venues. You never know where you'll perform or what they have you doing. So you never know. It's a bag, whatever. You know, we charge you 10 grand, 20 grand, 50, 100. You never know what level God going to put you on. If he even let you back in the rap game, you might take off in the movies. You might take off in real estate. You might take off in ghostwriting. You might take off in making beats. You never know. You can blow up on Love & Hip Hop. They can put you on that or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You work your way up to that. Then you're doing movies and yeah, you done took off. Yeah, so don't just come out the closet. Come out the closet a millionaire. Come out the closet a billionaire. Come out the closet playing with six figures, deep in the six figures. Yeah, just have more to offer than just coming out the closet. Don't let this be your highlight of your career. This your last post that you'll get on Vlad, on Say Cheese, or Academics. You came out the closet. No hit records, no business investments, no stocks, no trucks, no movie roles. Just came out the closet. So, yeah, it's your choice. Go.